Okay, in this video, we're going to look at free fall detection. And we're going to use a accelerometer to do that. And the one we're going to use is the LIS-3DSH, which is the 3-axis MEMS accelerometer. It's on board the ARM Discovery Board. And that's it right here on the board. And this is the microcontroller. It's an ARM Cortex-M4 microcontroller. It's the STM32F407. So what are some applications of free fall detection? Well, we could have fall detection for the elderly, in case somebody falls, it could set off an alarm. Or if you want to protect a fragile device, like say the hard drive in your computer, so if you drop your laptop, you could go into protection mode and park the heads of the hard drive before it hits the ground. Now the, the three-axis accelerometer has an x-axis, a y-axis, and a z-axis. Those are the three uh, axes of sensing. So if I hold the, the accelerometer flat, I'll have one G on my z-axis, which is straight through the accelerometer this way. So it's parallel with acceleration of gravity. Now if I tilt the, the accelerometer on the x-axis, now we'll have one G on the x-axis. And if we tilt, tilt the accelerometer on the y-axis, like so, we'll have one G on the y-axis. Now if I give it a little bit of an x-tilt and a little bit of a y-tilt, now we'll have components of the Earth's gravitational field along each axis and a vector sum of all those uh, vectors on each axis will be 1g. So no matter how I orientate the accelerometer, there will always be 1g of force pulling down on the accelerometer. Now during a free fall, all three sensing axes will converge to zero. Because when you drop the accelerometer, it's going to free fall at 9.8 meters per second squared. And that's the pull of a gravitational pull. So we'll have zero g-forces on all of the axes of the accelerometer. And once the accelerometer detects that, it will output a pin giving a zero g indication into one of the GPIO pins of the, of the, of the microcontroller, which will give us alarm for zero g-force free fall. Okay, I have my free fall program running on my discovery board. Now when the accelerometer detects free fall, one of its pins will go high and I'll be fed into one of the GPIO pins of the microcontroller, of the ARM microcontroller. And that will cause four LEDs on board in this area here to, to uh, come on for three seconds. Then they'll go out, they'll be reset, ready for the next free fall. So I'll do a free fall, pick it up and drop it. You can see the four LEDs come on for three seconds. Then they'll go out. I can do it again. Now I could turn it on its X and Y axis, and I could hit it, and I could do all kinds, I could shake it. Nothing will come on until I actually do a free fall drop, and the four LEDs come on. Now if I force the accelerometer down, if I throw it down without, without a free fall, you can see it doesn't come on, because that's not considered a free fall, because there will be some G-force indications on one of the, one of the axis of the, of the accelerometer. So it has to be a true free fall where only gravity is involved. So if I pick it up and just drop it, there's your free fall and there's your indication of the LEDs. Okay, here's a chart showing the conditions before a free fall and then during a free fall. Now the before a free fall, you can see the three axes, the X, Y, and Z axis have a, have a value. And if you take the vector sum of those three axes, we'll get a 1G force. So the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared will equal 1g. Now during a free fall, the three axes will converge to zero g values, as we can see here, and we'll get, a, we'll get a free fall interrupt. So a pin will go high on the accelerometer, one of the pins will go high indicating a, a free fall interrupt, and that will be fed into one of the GPIO pins of the, of the microcontroller. Okay, here's the free fall circuitry that's inside the accelerometer. Now during a free fall, this circuitry will detect all three of the sensing axes converging to zero G values. You can see the three inputs, you can see the X, Y, and Z inputs. So it's an AND function, it's a logical AND function. So if the X axis goes to a zero G value and the Y axis goes to a zero G value and the Z axis goes to a zero G value, we'll get an output of the NAND gate labeled FF, that's free fall. Now I'll put on the pin which we could feed into a GPIO pin on the microcontroller, which will indicate a free fall condition. Okay, here's another accelerometer. It's made by Freescale. 
The part number is MMA7361. It's a lot simpler accelerometer than the one that's on the discovery board. And this would be a good one to interface to the Arduino Nano. It's very simple. It doesn't have an I2C bus or SPI bus. So you have your three outputs, your X, Y, and Z outputs. That's voltage outputs. And it has a zero G detect pin, especially for free fall. So you could, you could uh, feed that into one of the GPI pins of the Arduino Nano and you could get a free fall detection. So this might be an option for somebody who wants to interface it to our Arduino. Uh, it's a little bit simpler to interface. So I hope this video gives you some ideas how to build your own free fall detectors.